Hello everybody, welcome back to Fiendfolio. Just before we get into this episode, I quickly want to make a little brief announcement for one particular person. Many of you may comment on my videos and may have seen in the comments there's a person called Manga050 that has been commenting for quite a while. So much so that they've actually reached today a one year comment streak. Now that's absolutely insane support. All the comments help so much in terms of interactions and views and everything to do with my channel. It's super useful, even if it's just something as simple as saying one thing each day to keep a comment streak going. And this person has really pushed the boat out and proven themselves to be very, very dedicated to the channel. And for that, I thank them so much. And because of that, I am going to do something a, bl a little bit interesting. Manga050, I hope you're watching because... With this today's comment streak, with the last one of the year, the, the last one to make it 365 days, please comment a game on Steam that you would like and I will buy it for you. Any game that you want, I don't really care the price, as long as it's not ridiculous, like as long as it's not like a game that just came out yesterday and costs like £70, pick a game, any game, and I'll buy it for you, because you have just led to immense support of the channel. And I want to reward that. Either way, we'll get into the episode now. Uh, we're going to go and randomise our character here and see who we might get for today's episode. Let's jump on in and see. Oh, it's a classic. It's a classic. It's an Isaac run. Okay. By the way, something that I just want to quickly um, show, just because there's been some confusion on my side and others, we have currently the mod Repentance Plus installed. There's been some really bizarre happenings with this mod. As you can see, a bunch of stuff isn't unlocked when it all should be. Um, yeah, all of this is locked. For some reason, the mod isn't saving progress whatsoever. So I have to go and type, I think it's R plus underscore unlock all. And that unlocks everything um, if we go back to the menu and we'll be able to see unlocks. We can see what's unlocked and what isn't. For some reason, the, the mod just straight up isn't saving progress at the minute, at least for me. I don't know if it's um, my fault or something to do with the mod itself, but I'm going to have to remember to do that. We get Anima Solo off the bat here. Obviously not great for us. I'll re-roll it. And Stitches is... Stitches is like pretty good, but also an active item. So a little bit annoying to get two actives off the bat there. Um, this guy's chilling out over here. I think we can kill him before he reaches us, though. We get a key. Hopefully, we get, um, enough charges to get another reroll on stitches there. This is a slightly annoying room the way that I've gone about it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, as for the question of the day today, um, it's a really good one, actually. Um, this is another one left by, um, that boy. Oh, God. <laughs> that was pretty much guaranteed damage, but don't worry. We've got another red heart there. Um, as I lose yet another half soul heart here. I'm going to try and play better uh, today, just in general, because I play, like, terribly. As you can clearly see, I really want to just actually try and re-get good at this game, because I used to be. There used to be a time, a wonderful time, where I knew how to play Isaac. Um, so I'm going to try and... and sort of relive my former glory. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, um, someone left a pretty good suggestion for a question of the day because it actually kind of fits in with something recently. I got my hair cut like yesterday and the question was, what's the worst haircut you've ever had? And oh boy, oh boy, I've got a few stories to tell with this one. So it really depends what you mean by that. Worst haircut you've ever had, does that mean like the worst haircut you've had by the way i've got a mod that adds new champions that's why that enemy fired some uh, homing shots there um but by that do you mean the worst haircut is in like the worst result you've ever had or ooh, i've i know electric dice isn't really that valuable with um d6 but i could end up getting something better with it i'll, I'll leave it there for now um but yeah, uh, it's, it's like, what's the worst result you've had? Or what's the worst process you've had? Like, what's the worst actual process of a haircut that you've had? And I have quite a few in, in both regards. Um, so my earliest memory of bad haircut was when I was, um, when I was quite young. Um, I think maybe seven or eight when I was in primary school. For some reason, um, my, my friend, just before, before we get into the reason, before, um, my friend had a real real, real bad bowl cut. Like, mum put a bowl over his head and um, cut his hair over the kitchen sink sort of haircut. It was 
it was bad. Also, oh, stitches can't go through there. That's a bit sad. I'm just going to quickly grab stitches and use it to go um, into my cash room because it's literally a freebie. Why the hell wouldn't I? Um, also, I can pick up that coin. Good, good. And then look at that. I mean, obviously, you can decharge stitches, but it's not going to make much of a difference, guys. There you go. That, that, that honestly helped so much. Um, yeah, and he had this just awful, awful bowl cut. And for some reason, little young me, he was my friend and I was like, Hey, I want that haircut too. And so I literally asked my mum to give me a bowl cut. And she did. She obliged. Which I think is terrible parenting, to be honest. No, I'm joking. But <laughs> honestly, I'm so surprised she said yes to that. And yeah, for some reason, for like a year, I went round with just the maddest looking terrible bowl cut that I, for some reason, wanted and asked for. Which I think is um, quite bizarre. Quite bizarre. That's like my earliest memory of, of sort of bad haircut. Secret room... There's a few options. I'm going to spend some time on this floor and make sure I do this right. There's a few different options. Here's pretty likely, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try out here. There you go. Um, and we can go for three of one pill or three of the other. So I'm hoping I pick right here. Spals. <laughs> three speed downs. I don't think that's going to do too much to help us out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, but for some reason I just went around with terrible bowl cuts. One second. I am back. Okay, we'll keep going. Yeah, so that was like my earliest memory of me just having a terrible, terrible haircut. And obviously, it was very terrible. These are meant to take red hearts first. Why did it take soul hearts first last time? You feel blessed isn't super useful for us. Ah, I was hoping for at least one soul heart out of that. It's fine. I'm fine with trading a bit of HP for that. Pisces was also a good pickup, and I'll also I, I love the new costume. This is a hard boss to get on the first floor, I've got to admit. Any Anything that leaves, like, massive amounts of creep is always, to me, a boss that I'm going to have trouble with. And, like, obviously as well, the fact that it's a split boss doesn't make it any easier. Oh, God, I kind of shat myself there. Yeah, it being a split boss doesn't make it any easier, but just look at the, the crazy amount of creep this guy can pump out. It's, it's kind of nutty. I don't really know, like, who's best to go for first. Also, there's the fact that it is an explosive shot, too, which honestly is less threatening than the creep, but that does make a difference. Oh, balls. I used knockback to actually get him out of the way, then. One of the harder bosses that you can get on the first floor. We will get a black pony for this, I think, but I'm gonna re-roll it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna re-roll it. Yeah, we, we get a pony, which does give us flight and stuff, but obviously it's just not worth the loss of the D6. So I'm going to go and buy a battery charge so that I can re-roll it. Which does mean that I won't be able to afford the um, the electric dice. But with the D6, the electric dice isn't that good anyways. Uh, and there you go. We got we got some of our speed, uh, speed down back, which is nice. We'll pop through here and see if there's anything going. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. And we'll hop down. But yeah, so that was like the first memory of a, of a bad haircut that I had. I remember I got a few like... Iffy haircuts because we used to have the neighbor that was a like trainee hairdresser come to my house and cut my hair. They were never bad. Like she, obviously she was in training. She was she was getting the proper training for it to be better. They just weren't amazing. But that was when I was quite young, so I didn't really care. Um, as as like a teenager, I did have a few pretty bad ones as well. Ooh, new uh, new question mark. That's interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna take this, I guess. Spare rib. I can't remember what spare rib does. I'll be honest. Um. But it is what it is. You're going to do your thing, I realise. I'll let you out. And this is another new champion type. There's a, I don't know how many. I think there's five new champion types and about 60 new boss champions that the mod adds. It seems like a pretty unassuming mod so far. Like, it's not got a great thumbnail. It's not got a ton of downloads. But it seems really cool to me. It seems like the, the, the champion sprite work is mainly just recolors, but... Honestly, variety in gameplay is great. As long as the uh, champion bosses are actually balanced accordingly, I, I really couldn't care less um, the quality of the sprite work in in regards to that. Some things I'm a, bl I'm a little more anal about sprite work, mainly mainly items, to be honest. But when it's just like a recolor, like, that's not a problem. It's not a bad sprite, it's just a recolor sort of thing. So we'll, we'll try this mod out and see how it goes. We'll see some new champion enemies. We've already seen one of them. And hopefully some new champion bosses around too. I don't know if it has compatibility with um, 
any Fiend Folia bosses or anything like that. I did see that one of the champion types has a chance to drop an Immoral Heart, which is obviously from Fiend Folia. So that could hint to the fact that um, it may be adding some uh, champion versions of Fiend Folia bosses, but I guess we'll see. Either way, I always like stuff like that. I think variety just adds so much. But anyways, back to the question of the day. Um, some of the other bad ones that I had, there was a hairdresser's next to my, um, my parents' house. I used to go to that one fairly often. And it was definitely more of a women's salon that also did men's hair than anything else. And not to, not to stereotype, but generally, in my experience, women hairdressers aren't very good. <laughs> Mainly because, and, and this is only from my personal experience, so obviously there's, there's probably plenty out there that are very good. Also, this bloody dookie will not die. There you go. Um, there's probably plenty out there that are very good, but in my personal experience, I've not had good luck with them. And mainly it's because they don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, they spend the entire haircut chatting away to the other hairdressers and other customers. It's like, just focus on my damn head. You have scissors next to my ears. Stop talking and look at what you're doing. <laughs> and so quite often I'd get like fairly lopsided haircuts um, or like just, just ones that are pretty rough around the edges and don't look that great. And it, it just, I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It was always like, just 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 focus on your job that I am paying you to do. Okay, that didn't work. Do you know what? I'm just gonna bomb you both. Yeah, I'm just like, for, for fuck's sake, just focus up. You have one job, and yeah, it really frustrated me. But also, um, this... This one hairdresser that I went to, so I went to that one, there was also another one a little bit down the street. I tried both of them, because I was like, well, this one isn't working out. Unfortunately, the other one was very much the same. Just women chatting away and not doing a very good job of cutting hair. Um, and, um, like, they, um, they didn't seem to have any filter on the fact that they were cutting a child's hair. I think I was 14, I was either 13 or 14 when this happened, so I was, I was reasonably young, but not too young. Like, I I, I knew things. Like, I, it's not like I was completely oblivious to everything. But, they were talking about some weird stuff to be talking about in front of a child that age. Like, um, one of them was, was going into... Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much on this boss. One of them was going into, like, a little bit too much detail. She was trying to be coy about it, trying to be kind of sneaky as if I didn't know what was, what, what was being said. Oh my lord. Stop pushing me about, you big fat earth. Also, did my burn thing just push my bomb away? I think it did. Um, yeah, she was trying to be coy about it and act like it was kind of hidden, but she was definitely talking about her sex life to um, the other hairdresser, and it, it wasn't particularly subtle at all, and it's like, I am a child. Uh, and then another one, she was like having a go about someone, and like she was like, oh, they're, they're a fucking pussy, aren't they? And, like swearing in front of me and stuff. I'm like, oh my god. Because obviously I was at the age where I could go to the hairdresser without my mum being with me, so my mum didn't hear any of it. But like, still, I was like, this is not okay. This is not how you run a business. <laughs> Stop swearing in front of children. Dude, this boss is taking forever. Actually die, please. I have, I must have just terrible damage, because this is taking forever. Mystery item again. Cracker Jacks is pretty decent. We'll get a trink out of it. That's actually a pretty good trinket to grab, to be honest. And we'll... Destroy some poops here. We do have Pisces for the insane knockback, which is nice. I didn't want Devil Deal anyway, so I'm fine that I missed out on that. I think we're pretty much good to go on this floor. Lost a bit of HP on that boss fight, but nothing terrible, to be honest. Goddamn clog. But yeah, I, I don't know. I was just, I was just baffled by it. And then after that, so basically after after going to this hairdresser for a long time and, and just realizing it, it really wasn't for me, it's not it's not a place I want to be uh, because, like I said, they just didn't do a very good job. I was like, okay, I need to actually... Oh my lord, I just stood right in the middle of that. I was like, oh, okay, I need to actually go to a, a male hairdresser. I need to go to a barber rather than a hair salon because it's just going to be way, way, way better for me. They're going to know what I want more and everything, all that sort of good stuff. Let's try and keep our Angel Deal alive here. That's another new champion. Um, I think he's healing. Yeah, he's healing the other things around him. Um, so yeah, I'm like, okay, let's let's try and go to a barber. And just so happens that uh, a barber shop, like a Turkish barber, 
opened right next to my um, my parents' house, like basically a few weeks after I decided to change. Ooh, this thing's tanky. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. I ended up going there, and it is goddamn the best haircut I've ever had. And to this day, it's still the best haircut I've ever had because I go there all the time. Even though I no longer live in that city, whenever I come to... I never get my haircut in the city I live in. Whenever I come to visit my parents, I um, I get my haircut there because it is just far superior. It is just far superior to anything here. And also, it's a lot cheaper. So... In where I live now, in the city I live now, I've had a few haircuts here. I've, uh, I've I've tried out a few places, and what like one of them was okay but overpriced, and the second time it was bad and overpriced. So yeah, I, I was just like, Do you know what? I'm just gonna stop and then just start only going to um, the hairdresser that uh, is where my parents live, because it, it, I just I know the quality that I'm getting, I know the type of haircut that I'm getting. I don't. Oh, you bastard. I always forget what that enemy does. These shotgun dudes are brutal, you know. Do you know, these fucking stupid burn things pushing my T-air uh, bombs around is real frustrating. Okay, good. Circle back to me now, burn. Also, these flies are a pain in the ass, too. For some reason, I can't get a grip of how they work. Okay. Little bit rocky, little bit unstable, but we're doing okay. I see you there. I realize you got a shot loaded. These enemies are pretty cool, I do like them, but they're definitely tricky. Ah, oh, you see? They always forget what they do and get caught out by it. We do have golden bombs here, so we auto uh, look for both of our secret rooms. First place I'm going to check is right here, because I'm pretty sure that's the second secret room will be. There you go. Okay, red hearts, nice to see. Extra bombs, really nice to see. Item? No item. Ooh. But, honestly, a very, very good trinket. You just got to be careful about dropping stuff with this, because if you got a card and you drop it, it can get re-rolled. Um, but this can, this can award you with, with many more extra things than you'd expect. Getting chests and stuff off of there, coin drops and all that sort of good jazz. It's, it, it's of course pretty random, but it's pretty nice to have. Okay, we hadn't finished as much of this room that I thought we had. Ah, that fucking hit me. I thought I was more than far enough away from that then. God damn it. Some of the damage I'm taking here is really stupid, but it's not troublesome damage. I, I, I do want to play better, but, like, if it's mainly if it's troublesome damage. Okay, um, not particularly good there. No. Okay, here's that item room, good. They've got the poops going on. I don't really need to kill them after this point, but it just speeds up the combat a little bit, doesn't it? Right. Item room. Guillotine or something else. Guillotine is is uh, always one that, that makes me squirm. I like it, but I don't think I want it, so I'm going to take this. Hey, Tech Zero is pretty good. I'll take that. Tech Zero is decent enough for me. Right. I don't know where we've been. I hate not having mapping. Not secret room still. This is our mirror room. We don't really care about that. I might go for a mother run. Not mother run, um, beast run this time around. I haven't done a beast run in a while. Where the hell haven't we bombed? I don't know where the, 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 the junctures of rooms are at the moment. I'm having a hard time picturing where the other secret room location can be. Balls. I'm having a really hard time with this. Uh, we'll check here, maybe? There it is. Okay. I mean, that's nice. It's not super useful, but that's nice. I probably should have gone to my care room prior to doing that, to be honest. 
Got a little bit more benefit out of it, but oh well. Okay, I can still go to my cash room because I got a penny. And that is a, a penny that re-rolled into a red heart thanks to uh, Cracked Dice. There's another red heart there anyways. I think it's up this way and then directly up. Yeah. Slightly more benefit out of this. I don't know what the, the white markings are all about. Okay, this is a strange cash room. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that cash room because I'll be honest, I don't really understand what it wants from me. Let's keep going. But yeah, I'm gonna say so. I've had, I've had quite a few shitty haircuts in my day. Now I've, I've it definitely took me a while as well to sort of find a style that properly suited me. Um. I, uh, I used to have quite long hair for quite a long time. I've definitely, like, transitioned into shorter hair now. I think shorter hair suits me better. I do let it get fairly long before I shorten it, though, so I do still have long hair from time to time. Um, but I'm going to try and make sure whenever I do my face reveal, or whatever you want to call it, that I actually, um, that I actually do have decent-looking hair at the time. I think I'm going to go for Acts of Contrition here just because it uh, gives us that um, um, Immortal Heart, which are pretty darn useful. I, I might even lose it in this fight here, to be honest, but we'll we'll try and keep it. I think with Golden Bombs, I should be okay. The only problem with these bloody stupid angels is that you can never get them to actually sit on top of a bomb. Really awkward for actually bombing. you got to try and time it just right, or you got to kite them into the explosion. Like that. Oh, I walked right into that. Dude, you made me lose my- Oh my god. It's fine. Whatever. I mean, Immaculate Conception. It's not brilliant, but it could reward us with some decent stuff here and there. Let's get out of here. Skadaddle, skadoodle. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. We've got some decent stuff. I'm actually pretty damn happy with um, Tech Zero. It's, it's one of those items that's pretty unassuming. Ne like, now that it got nerfed especially, it's pretty unassuming on its own. But it only takes one or two items to make it really crazy. Any sort of split shot, tiny planet, anything like that really hikes up its value a lot. Okay. And we're golden. Oh, no, we're not. Hello. We managed to save up a good few bombs from that last floor from having golden bombs, which is nice. Don't think I want to use them on them uh, thingies, though. What am I trying to say? Use them on the uh, blue fires. I don't think we need to. Okay, these guys are firing explosives. I always forget that these guys do that. I should probably try and take them out first. I don't really care all too much about losing my angel deal here, considering we just got one. We had very low chances of getting another... It's, while it's not great, I, I, I kind of was expecting it on this floor. But the caves is kind of a little harder anyways. We definitely need a bit more damage. I'm, I'm being slightly deceived at the moment because um, we have, what's it called, um, Pisces, which increases your tier size. So it makes me think that I'm doing better than I am in terms of damage. But I've actually still got base tiers. My tier rate is good, but my damage is pretty bad. We've had three tiers up so far, so that is making up for it at least a little bit. But it's not something I can stick with. This looks like a new champion to me. Yeah, he dropped a half soul heart, and I think he was protecting the other enemy, kind of like the um, the bishops in the later floors. It's kind of a cool idea for an enemy. A teal colored one. Okay. That's pretty good. I like that. I'll take it. The good thing about that is actually more so than you'd think. So some enemies drop fitches when they die, but because of the cracked D20, there is a small chance that instead, do you know, what? I'm going to keep the cracked D20. Um, there is a small chance that they'll actually reroll into something else, like that one did there. So pretty good going on that. I hate these damn crabs. Right. One thing we can do here to try and, um, thing is, if we pick these up back to back and forth, it should eventually reroll the little clot, right? I'm not going to bother with it. Anyways, but yeah, so when these little things drop, there's a chance with a cracked D20 that it'll turn to something else. So it's a very positive thing for us to have. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what the white X's are about. They seem to show up randomly now, now and again. Seem to be some strange interaction between another mod. Um, we've got Greg the Egg here. We'll take him. I do like a Gregor. Gregoth the Egg. Ooh, you tricky bastards. And Greg the Egg will eventually hatch into an item as well, so that's nice. Getting a lot of these cloud buggers right now. Okay, I've just got a bunch of extra money here. So let's quickly go back. Oh, we got a pill. I gulped it. Oh, crack D20's been gulped. That's perfect. Um, now we can go back and grab little Clot. So we can keep him around, which I very much like the idea of. I think we've got a pretty good setup here. A crack D20 is a lot of fun. Come on now, there. But yeah, having having more tears coming out is just perfect for um, extra zappy zappies on Tech Zero. Oh yeah, okay, okay, that's what it does. The teal champion basically makes every other enemy in the room invincible until they're dead. Definitely an interesting uh, idea for a, a champion. Kind of like the reverse of that other one where it can't be killed until every other enemy is dead. I very much like the idea of that. I think that's fun. Definitely going to create some very challenging rooms in certain situations, I reckon. And I reckon there's, there's a few situations where it could play very, very badly with Fiend Folio. Um, because if one of those enemies that uh, has the little flies around it that means you can't kill it has that on it, that could create some situations that aren't so good. I think overall, it's going to be pretty fun to have. We'll, ju we'll just see if we come across any negative situations with it. And if we do, we can report them to the developer. But I'm hoping we don't. We got a trinket from that guy. Of course, the trinket's pretty valueless to us, but another trinket there as well. Tainted treasure room in front of us as well, nice. Certainly still need more damage. Things are taking way too long to kill. Way, way too long to kill. Like, how did that guy not die there? There's another one of you as well. I don't know what I tainted treasure will be for, I'll be honest. I have no idea. Pisces, maybe? Yeah. Grants a swordfish familiar that can skewer enemies, um, then launch them away, launch enemies, damage other enemies they touch. Ooh, yes, that sounds really fun. We also got the fortune grub. Eh, doesn't do much for us, really. Secret room, do we have a bead on there? That might be. We got the mystery, the mystery sack, or we got all of this stuff over here. I'm honestly more tempted with this stuff. I realize I could re-roll the mystery sack for potentially something better. Nice, got a lot of money out of that. And honestly, let's just re-roll for shits and gigs, because we got a extra battery charge here. <laughs> just to see if we got Arky, and we, we cried ourselves to sleep. I'm liking the swordfish, he's pretty cool. Okay. Make our way back to the boss room. Take care of you. See if we get any new champions along the way here. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, we got him stuck and then we launched him against the wall. I can't believe it works on bosses. I am surprised. <laughs> I 
Oh, look at that. That's so funny. I love that. Cool idea for an item. And we get the pentagram as well, which I very much like. Thank you. Um, and we have a ton of money right now, so we'll be off. The Fitches can be really, really rewarding. Of course, it's like a 50-50 as to whether you actually get a payout from them or not. Yeah, you might you might lose a lot of money, but I feel like for the most part, you end up getting pretty lucky with them, or I do at least. I really like this, uh, this swordfish. Cool idea. And we got ourselves Tooth and Nail, which is very, very good. We also lost that angel deal immediately, I think, but oh well, skis. Ow. God damn, I'm excited. Why? Okay. Throw that bitch against the wall. This is the Herming Shot one. When it dies, fires four Herming Shots. And there you go, an Immoral Heart. Nice little addition to this. Thank you for dropping a Troll Bomb there for me, Greg the Egg. Very kind of you. Rooms like this are the best, but it's like a single enemy. Thanks, Greg. Okay, we can get into the cash room for free now because we have tooth and nail. But he got hit, goddammit. Wait a second. Ooh, okay. Um, I think yes to this. Come on, little fella, pay out. You know you want to. There you go. Lucky horns, I'm going to re-roll. All wisps and nightmares have done... Eh, it's, it's not bad, but it gives us a black heart at least. I'm pretty happy with that. And it does give us some wisps to work with as well to start with. But yet again, the wisps are... Someone needs to, needs to give me some real explanation as to what the flipping hell is going on with my flies and wisps. Why do they seem to be following the- not me? Like, look at this. They're, they're definitely following my clot buddy. Like, look at this. Why are they following him? And why are they following him in such strange patterns? <laughs> Someone needs to help me with this. <laughs> this is very strange and I don't know what could possibly be causing it. It's a very bizarre bug. It's funny, but it's not useful. Like, look how far my bloody fucking wisps are going. It's going to make it playing as Bethany an absolute chore. It's all sorts of broken up. Right. One second. Okay, let's keep her going. Greg, are you going to actually poop out an item at any point? HP up, speed down. That's not too bad. Ah! Don't attach a bomb, dude, to me. That's evil. Keep going. Bunch of death heads darting about the place. We're clearing up though. Despite not having great damage, we're clearing up. Pentagram definitely helped, of course. Right, pop through here. Sad onion. Yes, please. Mainly because if we get the tainted variety of Sad Onion, it's very good. But also, it's a huge upgrade. In terms of fire rate. So, either way, it's it's a good take. But I'm hoping we get the tainted treasure version of it. Because the tainted treasure version of it is very good for damage. And we don't really need tears right now. Oh my god, we lost a lot of money then. We were at 60. We took two of those things and went down to 38. Whoopsie. 
We do have a Mama Mega here, which I'm just going to pop, because why not? I think I probably want to keep that, don't I? Okay. Like, Mana Mega's gonna end up doing a good amount for us here, so let's just keep going. It'll do a bit of boss damage. We are only on Dank Depths 1, so it's not gonna be super useful for, like, getting into boss rush or anything, but it'll be helpful just to kill things along the way. You watch, we'll get a new cool champion boss that I won't even get to see. Also, finding secret runes. I didn't even think about that. I should probably go back and, um... Yeah, let's, let's go back and take a look for the other secret room, because, I mean... Why wouldn't we? The The prospects of a secret room item is too high. Honestly, at this point in our run, like where we're currently sitting, I don't really need anything in particular um, to to make this run more powerful or like make sure we win. I think, I think we're in a pretty good spot right now, I'll be honest. But I might as well go for it. Why not? Yeah, there you go. Well, it is what it is. We didn't get, soup. We didn't get a lot out of that, but what we did get is kind of nice. Right. Keep moving along. Hopefully Greg the Egg perishes soon and gives us something godly. Greg the Egg can be, uh... He can be our hero or baby. He can wipe away our tears. Oh, I do I do love Mama Mega. Just so satisfying. Okay, you, you took a good bit of damage, but nothing crazy. This is, again, one of my favourite bosses in Fiend Folio. Uh, he has so many cool varieties to him. And his attack patterns are really interesting. Sometimes they can play a little slow. I think he's one of those bosses that's more enjoyable when you're not doing as well. Which makes it sound weird because it's like it's, it makes him a harder boss. But I think he gets when you get to see all the patterns and stuff, it really makes him quite enjoyable. We'll definitely take Squeezy here. Um, that gives us pretty good fire. We also got a Zealot Heart out of that, which is really, really nice. Go to the next floor and we'll um, see that that'll give us a Lemmageton Wisp. But... The Lemma Getting Wisp is probably going to be attached to our little fella, so don't get your hopes up too high. Oh, no, it's not. We got Spinning Wheel. No way. That's so, that's so damn powerful for us. Um, Star Whistle's here also. Apparently, I've heard Star Whistle has some pretty unique properties that I need to take advantage of. So I'm going to try and do that. I'd like to get laser eyes as well, please. Thank you. We also got Nightlight there as well. Holy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard the Star Whistle can be pretty good, so I'm going to take it for a hot minute um, and see. But yeah, this with Spinning Wheel, pretty damn good. Okay, this will be um, this will be our uh, sad onion moment. There you go. One damage every time an enemy dies rapidly fades over time is a very, very useful item. We also got a gulp pill here, which we'll uh, take. There you go. Oh, that took us down. Spinning wheel with this is hilarious. I don't know if this much um, shot speed is conducive to success with this, but I like it nonetheless. It's funny looking. Hey, uh, I'm excited, Pill. Oh, thank you. How generous of you. Yeah, we'll take that. Try and look for a secret room here if we can. Trying to look from wherever I can think it'd be. Probably won't be there, but I'm going to try it anyways. Ooh. I love that. These rooms are pretty darn rare, aren't they? I like it a lot. Everything gets re-rolled at the end of a room clear. That could create some really interesting situations, actually. Rooms like this especially. Like this, we got a fool's gold rock there. Something a little extra for us to take home. So yeah, it won't do it during the room's combat phase, but once once the room is over, it will. 
This is hilarious. I love this setup that we've got going on right now. Right. Well, there's a crawl space. Eh. Not, not, not too good stuff there, really, is it? But this room got kind of wacky. Counterfeit penny is a must. Where's my secret room? I really don't know where it could be right now. Chirping for the best. Secret room, where are you? There we go. Okay. So now, apparently, store whistle adheres. Are you kidding me? The crack D20 rerolled the fucking store. I, w I worked all this way for that, and it rerolled it. Crack D20, why? <laughs> but what I was going to say is you can create a store and it ad adhere to the room's loop pool, which is pretty darn useful. But. Not when the game decides it's time to re-roll it. Not what we were looking for. Very frustrating. <laughs> That's what you get, I guess, when you work with something like the Crack D20. The Crack D20 give, but it also take away. Oh god, rooms like this are a pain. Oh, you bastard, got rid of my zealot heart. Fuck you. These teal champions are really cool. That's an extra bit of champ uh extra bit of challenge to some rooms. Oh, there's another enemy left in here? Ooh. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, got some interesting stuff going on there. Don't know how good soy milk's gonna be with this setup, but I kinda had to take it. Ow. Right. Just keep going. Fight the boss. It's definitely taken away some of our potency, but who could resist? Also, we get massive damage ups on killing enemies. Like, massive damage ups compared to what our actual damage stat is. So, after killing things, it, it really ramps up quite a bit. Um, we were gonna go mother, and I forgot about that. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, use a teleport card to get the hell out of here. I'm gonna take Blood Earth. It's kind of risky, but I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Um, spawn. Spawn 5.30.1. Full card. Yeah, I know it's cheating. People will be mad at me, but oh well.
Okay. We go down. We are back on the ascent. I was like, what the hell hit me then? And I realized. <laughs> I just wanted that extra damage bonus. It's not a lot, but it's something. Fish oil. Fish oil. Telepills. That kind of helps. Save us some health. What the hell are these little dudes? I haven't seen them before. I like them. Oh my god. Stop fucking re-rolling my shops. Crack D20, damn you. Golden troll bomb, lovely. Throw you against the wall. Holy hell. And he respawned as well. Perfect. I lost my holy mantle there. I'm so stuck right now. We got the Omega Curses. Apparently the Blessings mod creates some really wacky issues with the, uh, the extra curses. So sometimes you get a, a floor that has three curses on it like this. Definitely a little tricky. But like, kind of like an uber challenge. Oh my god, we actually spawned a shop this time. It's a miracle. Oh, Bob's brain, hello. Crawl space as well, nice. I can't believe how pivotal our run is being right now on an item we don't actually have. It's depressing. But we did get this out of it. Thank you. Definitely going to take Bob's brain, especially because it's a double tap to fire item now. Right. Okay, are you... Kind of a long floor here. Ow. Oh shit, the brimstone guy didn't stop when the room was over. We got... This might be soy milk. I reckon I'd take soy milk here. If it's a, if it's a tainted treasure soy milk, I'd take it. It's not. Spawns a cone in front of you that inflicts enemies with enlightened. Every few seconds an enlightened enemy in the room will take damage that scales with the player's damage and the number of enlightened enemies in the room. Sounds good to me. Increase tier size. I'm liking the, all the all the fish oils we're getting here. We got really big tier size considering our uh, low low damage. Okay. Quickly go back, check our item room. This room shouldn't be too hard at all. One second, do I still have the double tap release mod enabled? Is this room not over? I don't understand. How is this room not over? Get me out of here. I thought I had the double tap mod on. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe it was causing issues and I had to disable it. I can't remember. My brain's small. Oh lord. What is happening right now? Hmm. 
My tear side. Look at my damage. What the fuck? That was kind of wacky. I keep getting exploded right when, um, right when it triggers the, the, uh, what's it called? Can't remember what it's called now. Fuck's sake. <laughs> right as it triggers the tooth and nail, whatever it's called, that one. Right, this, this guy won't even die, will he? So I'm just gonna bomb out here again. I don't know what's wrong with this room, but it doesn't work. Right, boss time. I said boss time. It's it's not boss time. It's leaving time. That was a perfect time to use that secret disc because we're going to get a chest now. Alright, so I thought. This enlightening thing is hitting everything. Eh, I'm stuck. Oh, there it is. After defeating a boss in a boss room, ooh, yes. This thing's really, this, this trinket's really broken. Really, really broken. Whereas to after killing any enemy, every enemy in the room dies. It's the most broken trinket in the entire game right now. Killing one enemy kills the entire room, regardless. Every single time. Oh, I like the music on this area. I don't know how it works in the beast fight, but we'll find out. Look at that, just crazy. I definitely need more HP. I can't believe my Greg the Egg never uh, cracked either. Oh, Sigil though. The Sigil is so good. And the Sigil's so good and I really want it. But I don't... I I, I want to see if this, this brass thing works. Because it might. And that would be awesome. Oh, I finally lost, finally, finally lost my, um, my spin to win thing. Oh, look up for it. Nice. I can't believe it. Boom. We're pushing forward, we're getting through pretty quick. Yera? I don't think Yera does much for us, to be honest. The Onk? Whatever. <gasps> oh no way. We got it. We broke it again. Ha ha! <laughs> this item. For those of you that haven't seen the previous episode, it gives you a one-up every time you pick up one of those Fitches things, whatever they're called. Really, really, really broken. Look, watch. One-up. One-up. It's real, 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 real broken. It's a very, very strange interaction between the two items that causes some uh, bizarre stuff and gives you a one-up every time. Because it's meant to give you a one-up when you hit 99 cents, but apparently the way the Fitches work is for like literally less than a frame they bring your money down to under 99 and that tricks the game to thinking you hit 99 and gives you a wallop really really crazy and it essentially makes us invincible pick up as many as we can and we're good to go One of the most... We've got two of the most broken things in the entire game and both of them are caused by Ipecac mod. 
One of them is Ipecac mod plus the Fitches uh, from another mod. The other one is the Trinket that kills everything upon killing any enemy. What it's meant to do is, after killing a boss, all other enemies die. But for some reason, it, it triggers that on any kill rather than just boss kills. Which means that you kill anything and everything else in the room dies. Probably don't need any more than uh, 20 one-ups, but we'll keep collecting them just in case. Why not? Could die a little faster, sir. That'd be great. Thank you for another one. I love this sort of stuff. Two of the most broken interactions in the game working together to create such chaos. And then, yeah, like, the Sad Onion um, tainted version plus Soy Milk is such a broken combination on its own for damage. I currently have 26 damage. I, oh, I had 26 damage with Soy Milk. It's insanity. I try to fill up the full page of these. So I can't see any other items. Just need one more. There you go. A full page of 1-ups. Where the hell's the escape? I love the way the lasers kind of protrude at the back of my head. Right, away we go. Heal me up. He he heal me up. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, oh, I can't afford it. Are you kidding me? Hell. Does bombing you do anything useful? It does not. It counts as a kill, though, which is funny. My character is looking real wacky right now. Just just get another one up just in case. Right. We are good to demolish and destroy. I do remember we're not going to get the crazy bonus damage up here. So it's not going to be as quick as it has been prior. But it's still going to be reasonably quick. Ah, oh, the bloody Grimstone attack. The bag of cocks, that attack. Right, that's you taken care of. I just gotta try and push bombs into you to do more damage. Although I'm already doing quite a lot of damage as is, so that's nice. Luckily the bombs are sticky, so if I get them on a direct hit, they'll stick to you. Which is why I'm trying so carefully to line them up with you. Don't pull the bomb into me, you fool. Oh! You finally cracked! Break the egg! In our time of need, you give me freezer, baby. How, how very kind of you. How very kind. We got him, though. 
Right, now to see if this trinket does anything at all during these boss fights. Because some of the enemies do spawn other enemies with them. Some of the bosses. Where the hell are you going, Bob's brain? Why is he going down? That's not how this works, Bob's brain. By the way, I'm not even firing out the lasers out of my eyes. They're just coming out the, the tip of my forehead. I lost my dogma mantle. How could this happen? Okay, Bob's brain is really not liking this. Okay, I have I have hit myself quite a lot. Don't worry, we have plenty of revives. We should be okay. <laughs> yeah, here's here's the damage bonus look. You spawn stuff and I get crazy damage bonus for a short while. That was pretty beautiful. The damage burner should persist through to the next round, at least for a little bit. You can see that the tier size is still reasonable, although it's shrinking constantly. I'm trying to get bombs in there when I can, but it's a little tricky. I'm managing to stick a sticky bomb to his bombs, which I didn't know you could do. Kind of funny. Okay, we did die, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Okay, and the scythe should give us a nice bonus bit of damage here as well. A nice shot for us. <laughs> in the middle of the sky. Gotta love that. Okay, they actually managed to kill any of the sides of there. I thought they'd die a lot faster than that. Oh my god, yeah, they do not die. I thought they'd be really easy kills. I mean, he is going down really fast either way. Give me another one-up just in case. Oh no, I died again. What a shame. Right. Time for you to go now. I love the beast music. It's so fucking metal. Probably be destroying the Salagmites because they will give us bonus damage, I think. I also want to be bombing them whenever I can. Oh my god, I managed to stick one of the bombs directly to the tip of the Salagmite. Was that a Salag type? I can't remember which one's which. I need another one up. Gimme. Thank you. I may be taking damage because I'm so close to him here, but I don't have to care at all. I have one-ups for days. Also, I, he, he seems to have quite the grip on me. Oh no, I'm on half a heart. What will I ever do? Okay, we've managed to get him into his last phase. The time we've really got to focus up. Oh no, I died again. What a shame. Anyways, <laughs> it's the good Jeremy Clarkson meme, isn't it? I'm just killing him with only bombs at this point because it's easier. 
I like the way the shop's just been chilling this whole time as well. Anyways, that puts an end to that run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a very fun run indeed. Definitely enjoy going to the Beast again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.